What up the L squad and you're watching the L sisters so today's video is about a um, mukbang oh it's like so mukbang slash stop six. trying to complicate the title we'll do some more secondary that's what what it's called doing. secondary school so we're going to be talking about our secondary school experience this one yeah. our having so, a mukbang which is technically you having a conversation while eating so um let's just get all oh, with the, the video. video we've got some mcdonald's here pizza and if you can see this pizza yeah it kind of ruined <laughs> sort of i don't know of, how you of do. a certain someone because <laughs> it looks like this so. and then it just i don't <laughs> say no names so um and anyway this is i'm in year seven i'll start okay i'll start started off mm. pretty good yeah it's like this chicken's nice it was yeah. It's having nice. It's nearly over, guys. It's like last year. It was like one month ago. Mm. But like, I mean, it's come to an end. Don't yeah. get food because I'm in year eight. Yeah, how was your eight? It's alright. It's easy. You, also, you don't get homework. I, I feel like every single school when you're in year eight, it's not really that special for you because, because like, you're, you're in nothing. the middle. Not but really. I just don't want your head to get into the food and you, you keep moving. Food. You keep moving around. Like, I'm not even doing anything. There's another one right there. Morning. Are you gonna dip pizza in there? It's barbecue chicken, guys, so it's okay. I got a lot of homework, guys. No, she exaggerates the fact that she has homework because guys might think that you go into secondary school and it's it's kind of hard. The work is like, oh, you get s it's so hard because it's secondary school, but actually, it's not. Mm. It's technically normal. In our school, we work off a book have a book and it's got questions inside that you work off there oh but each teacher is different like yeah and year seven in maths um there's people who are like i'm gonna cry yeah <laughs> i won't be able to do the work i'm gonna move down you know what, but it, it depends on your stats right where you're getting your stats mm -hmm. it wasn't that hard guys to make friends it's me guys i'm nice i talk to people I don't really nigga don't judge people and stuff like that so it's kind of actually easy i've got like five close close friends and i've got friends and mates and acquaintances basically her class mm -hmm. that's kind of the same with me the <laughs> pizza i'll help you cut it off go on is do you have friends in year eight no i'm i'm such a learner guys and you went she went to school by herself i mean i mean i didn't like she was the only one from her primary school that went to that school mm -hmm. in my like year like that mm -mm. We all I don't even talk to my primary school friends anymore so boring. I do we meet up no like, every half term she's so extra she's so extra mm -hmm. they have to go to cream they have to go to jumping they have to get everywhere no it's got nothing to do with extra it's got stuff to do with meeting your friends staying close and stuff like that if you don't want to meet up with your friends that's your no problem no I happen. like it Oh, they had a fight on their little group chat and they didn't even swap. I don't fights. Hmm? You saw me? Oh, yeah, year 7. Mm -hmm. It's quiet. It was me. I didn't know anyone. Because in our school, on the first day of school, year 7 start earlier so like they can mm. get to learn, get their times table and stuff. So like, yeah. Nice, lovely. And then, friendship issues because girls are dramatic. <laughs> um and then next thing you know the summer yeah. holiday came i was happy for the girl. i didn't need to see my school friends i didn't need to see my teachers i need a break so i'm happy uh, um so if you know you have a mcdonald's no waiting for oh well it's on my lap and you put it all the way back there put it on your lap because yeah it says almost the end of year eight already the second year i'm gonna be in year nine i want to choose my what's it called gcse's Mm. If you're ready, ready and choose your GCSE subjects, comment down below what you want to be a doctor. So I don't know what GCSE is, options. And my school has a a little bit of options. In like my primary school, I mean secondary school experience. I went to secondary school. Like Goblin said, you start off early with that without the whole school. Two people from my primary school who came with me. One of them were in my class in primary school. The other one wasn't, but we still talk there. Mm -hmm. But in secondary school, we don't talk much we act like we don't know each other because like <gasps> actually going but to a secondary school by yourself is probably the best thing probably is because if you tell them your secrets mm -hmm. then they're like, yeah 
but because two people from my primary school um that's the same secondary school we didn't really change anything it we act we don't really well one of us do not the one that was in my class but like yeah guys if you go to the same secondary school with your primary school friends try not to just hang around them because you need to start you need to make, make your own friends, friends that aren't you don't really know because if you just hang around from this one because if you um stay with them then it will be like oh when if what if they just leave mm -hmm. and go to another school you're going to be like oh i didn't make any new friends on the first day of school so i won't have anyone to talk to it'll be harder to make friends because they already turn into brats and you know <laughs> you about your friends and yourself so. um, and also one of the things that will change in wait can i let me say okay go on then yeah in secondary school you have mixed class yeah. So I guess making friends in your form, you need to make friends in your year because uh, making just making friends in your form is just gonna make school harder. So yeah, I have friends in my form, but I also have friends outside of my form for my other lessons like English and maths and DT or whatever. So yeah, it's nice. The only mixed classes that I have is maths and DT, so it's not really that much of people to talk to. Most of them are in my form anyway. Yeah, so that just makes everything else. I'm walking around the school, getting lost, how big the, your school is. Oh my gosh. On I the know, first I, day... <laughs> on the first day, you feel like you're going to get lost in the building. But our school has signs telling you, or oh, science is up here, or whatever. And they're so picky. You can't walk through the classes to get to the other class. You have to actually take the back stairs or the front stairs. It's annoying. On the first day of school, when we had our planner, the whole form got confused we all walked through room 27 of the science room the teacher got us in trouble because you're not allowed to walk through but our science room was actually room 26 25 26 one of those okay. so we had to go all the way back around just to get to that room mm -hmm. some teachers just let you know teachers are rude my teachers are nice except for um, drama do oh, not mess with the drama God. teacher mm -mm. Mm -mm. You know how in actual acting they're dramatic. This one, this is, one dramatic. is dramatic. <clears throat> oh my god! You don't do your homework. Get yeah, detention. If you start laughing, you pulling silly faces across the room. Detention. You get in trouble. I want to oh. see silly reasons you get into. Most mm. people do this at performance. Oh, this is a nice story time. <laughs> a girl had her blanket, her scarf story. She put it on her lap. She had her lip gloss. She put it on her lip. The teacher just looking at her like. And she told her to wait behind the lesson. She got detention. She'll think, oh, is this a fashion lesson? Is this finished. somewhere where you do hair? The oh teacher was God. crying every year now. Oh, yeah. And guys, when you're in school, yeah, don't be rude to your teacher. Do all your homework. If you don't do your homework, then sorry, you're going to have to like catch up because sometimes they ask you to do homework is because you're going to be learning that the next lesson and you're like, oh, I'll just do it the day is true because I'm probably not doing it that day. It's probably it's not relevant. Yeah. Next thing you know, you're doing that in the lesson and you have and you're no like, idea. Oh my gosh, what you is have this? no idea. And so and attendance, guys. Don't no, be like this one who's always wanted to leave the five minutes before the school starts. Oh, we've got time. No, you leave 30 minutes before. 30 minutes. No, you don't leave 15 minutes. You leave 30. No, listen, yeah. It must have been like we had to go to school early because you're doing something. <laughs> so and we got there like five past or something. Next thing you know, the bell's ringing for us to go into our form room. So I was like, time flies. Mm -hmm. Time does fly, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. Love, it might change my opinion. I'm early. I'm early. school early. I'm an early girl. I didn't go on as many school trips. I haven't even gone on one trip, guys. Even one. I haven't even gone to one. zero school trips for like four in one year. So I was. been in many school trips. Yeah, four in one year. Oh. So we went to the zoo. We went to the London Zoo. Was actually, actually alright. You know, I got to see giraffes. <laughs> I got to see a giraffe. Sometimes. How tall was it? Was it up there? Yeah. Wow. Oh, I'm cool. tiny. Anyways, yeah, we, I, we went to the zoo, we went to the Shakespeare's Globe because I'm oh, lucky, I don't know. Yeah, yeah. you're getting your eight. Um, yeah, because we were studying a Shakespeare play with a little school. And what other school trips did I go on? Tower of London, the boring. 
Try stay in the top set, guys. Talking about history, history in London's boring because the top set can come up with a lot of advantages. When you are asked for in the top set, you get to go for park. I'm going for park. I'm going I'm, and I'm not scared of heights. Oh yeah, you're going in. <laughs> don't even talk about heights. I was just, you know, I was just going those little cars that just go. Mm, mm, mm. I enjoy with the baby. No, yeah, because <laughs> the main reason why we're going full park is actually to learn about how they design their rides. I don't even know what that got to do with maths, but okay. It does because you have to do the measurements and like yeah, the carriages, I get it yeah, and how they manage the money with the the That's full park really thing. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> and oh, yeah, yeah. And then, yeah. <laughs> So we're probably only going to be able to do like one or two rides. You know, I actually might vlog that, you know. <laughs> I actually vlog. You don't but like because <coughs> we're, we're not gonna be wearing uniforms, we're gonna be non school uniforms. What about teachers? You don't like to be exposed on YouTube. Why why would I even be near a teacher in the first place? I don't I find it cringe when like the teacher goes like this to help a student, like and even when the, te like the teacher's disclosed, I just wanna back up, you know, back up, back up. <laughs> Or mingle with the right people. Mm. You don't want to be with the ones who get you in, tr get you in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> you can't talk. But anyways, yeah, don't mingle with bad people. If you mingle with bad people, you'll see yourself in trouble. They'll take you as fresh baits. So, fresh bait. Okay, I just wanted to say that for some reason. <laughs> so yeah, don't listen to that. But I don't know what I mean. To fuck it. Yeah. When you mingle with the bad people, your work goes. You might you you might have been up here. But when you mingle with the wrong people, you'll be like, oh, let's bunk last, let's go, let's go okay. hang out in the cafeteria, or, or let's go play football, or whatever. You, and they, the next thing you know, they're calling your parents. You're calling your parents. Where's your child? Where's your daughter? Where's your son? The next, the mom. Well, you, <laughs> you, you, you just walk through that door after school. You walk from that. Your mom. Your mom's waiting back. for you. Your mom's waiting for in you. The slipper in the corridor. <laughs> oh, she might be in the living room sitting there. Peacefully, and then when you have your conversation, hey, the lion has been released. Our school has some very persistent <laughs> because, like, uh, like, each time it starts from year seven, so she's in year seven, so she goes first, and then each week it changes. Uh -huh. This week that just passed, I was first. The now week that's coming, go I'm going to be last. I'm it should be, be like this seven, eight, nine, then it will be eight, seven, nine, then it will be oh, wait, the year nine is still last. That's that for being in your nine, you know. I just feel like you get the last food. Mm -hmm. The leftovers. The food's finished. No, you all you can have is cornflake bars and rice crispy bars, pasta king with water. But mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. pasta king, yeah. The sauce is just got. Do you know when the last time I had pasta king was? Oh, in year seven. Rules. In year seven. Actually, that's a lie. I had it in September. <laughs> Yeah, past the king. You know you're from London when your secondary school has past the king inside. That's true. And their drinks, I love. That the first one to complain that you can't have fizzy drink, you can't have Lucas Aid. Why are you giving us fizzy drinks in school then that has a lot of gas? Do not drink it when you have a bellyache. Oh, oh my god, I was about to say, I, I, um, I, I am the queen of bellyaches. <laughs> I had no a bellyache. Take my advice. Do not drink I had this. a be I had a bellyache in school. I got the one, and you know apple food. Yeah. Apple food is the strongest one. I bought it. I drank as nice, nice. Where's my the rest of the day? I was sick until I came home. I was sick. My belly was hurting me. I felt like sleeping. I, I, I felt like having diarrhea. You didn't need a straw. Yeah, guys. So, <laughs> but anyways, yeah. Do not drink fizzy drink. But guys, when you're school. And your uniform, come on, don't roll your skirt as high as some people. <laughs> don't roll it, don't roll it. Um, and then it just shucks me. T is probably the only lesson that you could go to the toilet to during lesson time because mm -hmm. the bathroom is just next to the changing room. It's right there. And PE in primary school, you have to change in front of everyone. PE in secondary school, however, is that you have your own changing room. No, that's a lie. You change in front of everyone. Well, no, 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 but in, in the case that the boys, like the boy. The boys and the girls were had to change in the same room in primary school. We don't have boys on our school bus. I'm talking about <laughs> in primary school though. I'm not talking about Oh now. yeah, you had to change the same room. Some schools, they, they, some went to the toilet. We weren't allowed to do that. I went to the toilet. Did yeah, I? Well, you, Did you, I you ran away. I bet. Because I wasn't. I was allowed to go. Oh Jesus. Oh Jesus. Stationary something else. Oh my Next, God. This year I'm going to You know what, now. yeah? The only pen I use. There's only one pen I use. If I lose it, I'm finished. 
I only have this one pen, you know the ones that have red, green, black, blue. That's the only pen I have. It has my marking, it has my writing and my translation. If I don't if I don't have it, then what am I gonna use? So I, I lost so everything. People be spending hundred pounds in August to buy for their school, they'll be spending hundred pounds pen to pay. Debbie hates Smith, you know how they rip you off. Anyway, you've been spending a hundred pounds and then after is June it's you gone, can't find gone. You can't find your pen. Unless you're really good at like keeping things. Yeah. Everything's gone. Everything. Well. I don't know. My my French partner. She lost her school jumper. She's really bad at keeping things. I mean, we're not talking about my school jumper right we're now. We're talking about losing. Do you know how many things you've lost in our primary school? Hey, oh, I got them back. <laughs> mm-hmm. so, uh, the only thing I didn't get back was my um my cardigan. That's it. Mm-hmm. It's not my school cardigan, my P cardigan. Right. Stop it off I'm not really bothered yes. because it's the end of the year and it's summer. I lost my scarf, but I got it back. I got it back. No, I got it back because I was the one that lost it. You're the one. Who is this girl? Guys, comment down below, guys. Things that I like. Is. Uh, <clears> that's. Oh man. God. Calm down. That's it. For that's this, it for this video. video. Comment down below oh, if you want a part two of a rock a bank of. <laughs> I feel like I'm full. I think I had this March. <laughs> oh, of 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 <laughs> second school experiences or whatever this is called. And hope you guys liked oh. it. Comment down below and subscribe. Bye. See you guys next time. Bye. Peace.